What's happening? It's your history tutor, Thrash City. You see your dumbass about American history. Learn with Thrash City. Hashtag Woke America. Christopher Columbus Part 2! Damn America, back at it again. Back at it again with the history. Last session we went over Christopher Columbus, what caused him to go on his voyage in the history of Spain. This session we're gonna go over all of his voyages all the way leading up to his death. Not only that, we're gonna go over why the United States has a national holiday for Christopher Columbus in the first place. Now before we get started in this session, I wanted to let you know I did a little something special. Because your boy doesn't typically do this. I'm a firm believer in Control F, but I got a reference on deck. So, one thing y'all need to know about this book, um, it's about as thick as my thighs. So, uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to cram all of this information into a 10 minute session for you. So, I'm about to summarize it for you. Before you get started in this video, visit the previous video so you know what the hell's going on. Links in the description. I'll wait. Tomorrow. Damn! What is up with ah! your eye, G? Johnny! All right, yeah, I know, I know. What's up with my eye? This is a legit next day, all right? I went to the Slider to Bavel concert last night. Run the flashback. It was mad lit. 10 out of 10 represent. We guard your grills. So if it's okay with y'all, it is Columbus Day right now. I gotta get this video out, so we about to speed run this joint. August 3rd, 1492, he departed with three ships, the Nina, Pinta, and San Maria. Arrived in the Bahamas the same year, October 11th. The island he's land on was called Guadahani, but then of course that wouldn't do because then he never discovered it. So he changed the name to San Salvador. Throughout the next three months, he went island hopping, kidnapping people, forcing them to show him other islands and such. He went to Cuba, Haiti, and the Bahamas, just looking for gold. That's all he was concerned with. The indigenous people that lived there were naked. So they looked at them and see they had clothes. They thought of them as coming from the heavens. They kissed him on the feet, they welcomed him. They gave them pretty much anything they wanted. Now this has very little to do with the story, but I thought it was funny anyway. So on Christmas of that year, one of their ships ran aground because one of the captains allowed one of the, sh the children to steer the ship at night. Let me drive the boat. The Admiral was pissed. Around the 15th or 16th of January, 1493, he headed back to Spain, letting them know that, hey, there's gold out here, there's people out here. He kidnapped a couple of the natives, brought them back, and uh, before he left, he left around 30 or so guys there to establish a settlement. About two months later, they arrive back in Spain, they show all the things that they got from the lands, and the queen was like, oh, turn up, definitely. Get ready immediately, you're gonna have another voyage out there soon. When they got back to the islands, they found that the dudes that they left there was dead. This is probably because they was being some assholes. He then proceeded to kill off most, if not all of them, with war and disease. He enslaved, he captured them. He also forced them into mining gold for the Spaniards. They had to turn over all the gold of the Spaniards, and they even gave them quotas. If they didn't meet the minimum standard, you know, if you're coming up a little short on gold, then something gotta go. You're gonna be missing something. Columbus and his men committed horrendous crimes. Not only that, it was to such a point where the King and Queen of Spain sent a representative to find out what was happening down there. When the representative arrived and they seen what was happening, they was like, damn, what, what, what the hell is going on here? You chopping people's hands off and limbs off and mining enslavement. They're making Christian slaves. They converted them to Christianity and then they enslaved them. So it's like, you got Christian slaves over here? like." That he was arrested on the spot. They shipped him back to Spain. He then spent years in prison saying how he's sorry and how close he was to finding paradise. So it's like paradise is somewhere near those islands, so you should let me go back. After groveling and pleading in the year 1502, he was allowed to go back in search of the Tree of Life, as it states in their holy books. He then spent pretty much the rest of his life looking for the Tree of Life, which, spoiler alert, he never finds. Um, so it's 
So he ends up stranded in Jamaica and pretty much just dies there. And that's pretty much the whole story. Um, quite a guy. He's definitely the upstanding citizen. You know, we should make a holiday out of him. Represent the United States, right? So finally, we arrive at the question. What is Columbus doing having a national holiday in the United States? That asks a good ass question. In the year 1792, President Benjamin Harrison suggested that Columbus Day be celebrated, especially since it's the 400th anniversary of the discovery of America. And in 1937, Franklin D. Roosevelt made it a federal holiday, saying, Columbus's discovery gave to the world a new beginning in the march of human progress. And in 1972, Richard Nixon made it a modern holiday. So it goes without saying, there is one group of people, one organization, who's pretty much responsible for this whole thing happening. The Catholic fraternization known as Knights of Columbus. So back when Catholic immigrants, primarily Italian immigrants, came to the United States, they were scrutinized for not being patriotic enough. The Knights of Columbus were aiming to change that stick while also glorifying their Catholic hero, Christopher Columbus. This happened so much so, to the point where he's been acknowledged as a national hero. And that's it for this session of Learn with Thrash City, Christopher Columbus. Join me next week where we go over a little bit more history. This time we gonna get in depth with it. I'ma catch y'all next week. Stay up and keep grinding. Stainless Steel Beats.